It's a dozen. Match 73. Presented by Coors Light tonight. Coors Light. Can this has been on my desk for a little bit. Can's not blue right now. Uh, but a shout out to Coors Light for sponsoring this match. We have for the first time ever. Take a little sip there. First time ever, we have Frank and the Frank Cats, the number two ranked trivia team. Looking to move to number one against the Uptown Balls. Is that what we call it? The Uptown Boys? I think we were the Uptown Boys. I think the Boys was it. Uh, The number eight ranked trivia team going up in a crossover match for the first time. Not playing Brandon and PFT. They'll be later on in the week. Uh, Special Wednesday match. We moved this because of the Cocktail National Championship on Monday night. Uh, Yeah. Presented by Coors Light, like I said. Brand new packaging from Coors Light. Already on the shelves. You can get it now. You can also get it delivered to you. At get.coreslight.com. Uh, the beer that's made to chill. If you want to sit back, reset things. Got the playoffs this weekend. Maybe we want to watch some NFL games. Coors Light, I see, is uh, doing a campaign for t- to get Tom Forrest into the Hall of Fame. Well, there you- also that, too. Also that, too. Mountains are blue on the can as well, folks. Mountains are still blue, even though the packaging is brand new. Same ice-cold refreshment. Cold lager, cold filtered, cold packaged. Celebrate responsibly from the Coors Brewing Company, Colorado. Oh my goodness me! I I, I, I told you it was a gas leak. I apologize. <laughs> it have, didn't happen during question. Thank you, as always, to Coors Light for sponsoring this match. We'll see them back again later on. Okay, why don't we just get into some trivia? Let's just not even beat around the bush. Let's do it, Jeff. Oh yeah, Let's do it. First up. Okay. Uh, the, the, the lads here are all sitting away from their computer, showing their hands, uh, <laughs> no cheating, none of that. No tomfoolery, uh, as are... always, yeah. uh, you have three lifelines. The mute may eventually leave, by the way, the, the mute, for those who don't know how the mute works, you can choose to mute one player on the opposing team one time. Uh, so that is an option and they can't mouth anything. They can't do we, we're new rule. You can't mouth anything. You can't write anything. It's just a mute. They're just there. They're not a part of the question. For 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 that team's question. For that team's question, correct? Not the steal. And you cannot mute a team that has doubled. Cannot mute a team that has doubled. Must be before the question. Yep. As always, lifelines, uh, doubler and the mute must be decided before the question. Uh, you must double at least once during the match. If you don't double by round twelve, round twelve is worth two points automatically the first category tonight is going to be major league baseball major league baseball the first category up tonight does anyone want to double mute should we mute frank boys it's not a bad idea that's not a bad idea yeah we'll mute frank they're gonna mute frank right off the bat a lifeline on round one so this is just kb and nick for the first question he can guess on a steal for the other side so right now for God now damn they, frank they cannot first, guess. Right? this better be pokey reese nick that's the only baseball player i know frank is muted here is the question since the introduction of the dh this west pitcher is the only american leaguer at the position to hit a grand slam now this means they did it while in the AL West, they may or may not be here. That will apply to the next question as well. This is this a West pitcher thing. in the West at the time did it. Nick, when did they introduce the DH? That's a good question. Kyle. Not long ago. Frank is freaking out. Uh, do we want to call like Brandon? Or is this too early? What? Call, well, how would he know? I don't know. I'd call the... <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, I, w- I don't. I wouldn't waste a call on this. Yeah, fuck. Uh, you know more uh, than I do. I five. mean, this. I mean, pitchers. Is it like Four. Madison? Bum- is it a giant? Two. Uh, is that Hale? Oh, Anaheim. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Incorrect. Other side. Uh, the I, only I, name. That, the only name that came to mind, and I don't, is did Mike Hampton. I know he was a great hitter. I don't. I know he was on the Rockies and Braves. Did he ever play in the West? AL West was he on the Rangers? He was on, he was on the Astros. When okay. they, when, I don't know if in the AL West then they switched over. This is a Five. hard question. Was in the AL I, I mean, Mike Camp is the only one I could think of. I, I I was thinking like Jim Abbott, but I know that. Yeah. Who's gonna be the final Mike. answer guy for the Tommy? You be final answer guy. Or Smitty's usually final. Yeah, answer. well, no, Tommy's we'll Mike is the best. Right. Tommy's Mike is the best. Tommy's final answer guy. Frank, I'm not gonna reveal it. Frank, would you have known the answer? Fuck yes, it's Felix Hernandez against the fucking Mets against Johan <laughs> Santana. That I didn't know at all. 
No, uh, Mets, Mets, ah. Mets fans on each side. So good play, boys. Yeah. Well yeah. executed mute. Well executed mute. Uh, next question. Other side. MLB. Thirty seconds. What AL Central player is the only player to hit his 500th career home run as a walk off? Tomei. Could be on the White Sox. He hit the 400th with his uh, with the Phillies. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was on the White Sox by then. Adam Dunn, did he get up to 500? I think so. Jim, to- I mean Jim Tomey is a good as good a guess as any. Okay. Yeah. Wait, we'll- wait. All right. Do it. Unless it's like Harmon Killebrew. Wait, you don't think he hit his 500 with the Phillies? No, he hit his 400 with the with the yeah, Phillies. But is that your fi- Tommy? Is that your final answer? Yeah. Go Tommy. Jim Tomey. That is nice. correct. Jim Tomey, one to nothing. Good mute. Good mute. That was a very good lifeline good use. Good round. Good round. Next category. I new category. Get rid of it. Frank doesn't like the mute. But guess what? They can't mute you anymore, Frank. They can't. Yeah, the man. Yeah. Uh, and, 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 and your questions are going to probably be layups. That was a layup. Frank, Frank, Frank. It's early. You're the number two ranked team. Hang on. Next category is celebrity mashup. Celebrity mashup. Uh, Frank and the Frank Cats, name the two celebrities in this photo. <laughs> that is uh, Robert De Niro, and then who is that like Brooke Shields? <laughs> <laughs> is it Robert? Frank, uh, Frank, is that Brooke Shields? Is that a Shields face? I don't know. She's got very big yeah, eyebrows. It's Robert De Niro and uh, Brooke Shields. That's the chick. Yeah. Starship Troopers, right, Frank? I think of Brooke Shields. I think of uh, Blue Lagoon. Five. Final answer, Nick? De Niro and Brooke Shields. All right, this is easy. We know, right? I don't. You don't. What do you think, Paul? It's De Niro and Denise Richards. That sounds Ooh, right. Yes. It look like those eyes. I was worried. I was worried it might be Bernie Madoff, actually, but I think it's De Niro. No, Bernie. Oh. It's De Niro and Richards. All right, De Niro and Richards. Yeah. That is correct. Balls go. Uh, wow. The mute's got to go. The mute's got to go. Uh, Fra- I had no effect on that, bro. Frank, you're going to be able to mute them at some point. Other side, here's your mashup. Name the two celebrities in this photo. Frank, can be mute? bad. That's James Kahn, definitely. Oh, yeah. Good call. Hillary? Who? Hillary Clinton? Clinton? No. Oh, Hillary Clinton. I know. Uh, I'm going out there. I can't. Who the fuck is that? I'm terrible at these. I have no fucking Is that like clue. Tilda Swinton, maybe? I mean, she's... I wouldn't say she's young. Tilda I mean, Swinton's not young. Blue, uh, Blue uh, Hel- Helen Mirren. It's not Helen Mirren. All right, need an answer in... Uh, James Conn and Tilda Swinton, is that what we're going with? Sure. I don't think it's right, but yeah. Uh, so I don't know who James Caan is, but that looks – who's the chicken uh, Hannibal, Clarice? Who plays her? It doesn't look like Jodie Fe- uh, Foster. I think it's Jodie Foster. Wait, wait. Look, can Jody you can I do that again? Yeah, but I can only go up for five seconds. I think it's Jodie Foster. Yeah, let's go Foster and James I guess Caan. Jodie Foster. It's definitely James Caan here. That is correct. Two to one. I shouldn't have said James Caan. Yeah, I'm not even – it's all right, Paul. It's all right. All He's right. An elf. Legend and elf. Got a battle here. Two to Five. one. Frank and the Frank Cats. Next category is video games. Video games. Any lifelines? No. Okay. Yeah. Uh, anyone eligible for phone a friend? I'll let you know if there's somebody you can't call in the office, but no, I don't think anyone really wrote questions besides Brandon wrote one or two. Here's your question 30 seconds. Raccoon City is a fictional location in what video game series? Is that a uh, Grand Theft Auto? That's Resident Evil. It's not a question. It's not our question. That's Resident Evil. Oh. <laughs> there's there's an arrow above when the question's on your side, there'll be an arrow. <laughs> it was on purpose. It's Resident Evil, Jeff. Final answer? Yeah. That is correct, two to two. It worked out for us last time against Brandon and PFT because they thought you were fucking with them. <laughs> 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 Other side, 30 seconds. Midgar and Nebelim? Not a shot I was going to pronounce those. Are fictional locations in what video game series? 
fucking Assassin's Creed. I, don't I would think like Assassin's Legend Creed of Zelda. I, I don't think it's Zelda. I have no fucking clue. I don't, I really I don't know either of those. Like I, I would I would say a Japanese game of some sort. I, what are Japanese games? Well, yeah, technically Zelda and even like Mario. Japanese game. I mean, talking to you, a Zelda or Assassin's Creed would it's be not like the net. So Zelda, you want to say? I don't know. I don't think I. I don't think it's. That five. sounds more like medieval. That sounds like. Two, Tommy. Assassin's Creed. Sounds like maybe The Witcher. That's a series, and they have names like that. Has The Witcher been an answer on a previous dozen though? I don't know. Midgar. Yes, <laughs> that sounds like a Witcher, and there, uh, there's at least three. Oh, right. Okay, um, uh, the, Witcher. the Witcher. Final answer. Yeah, It'd be Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Two to two. We're knotted up. Next category is a lightning round, and it's television. Television <laughs> lightning <laughs> round. Lifelines. How does the lightning round work again? You have only 30 seconds to answer, but it's going to require three answers. Okay. And this lightning round is presented by Coors Light. Delicious. Great.coorslight.com. For Frank and the Frankettes, not us. Yes, this is, this is for Frank and the Frankettes. You're going to see three TV show names. You're going to rank them from number of seasons, not years on the air. It's a big distinction. Seasons from most to least. From most to least. 30 seconds on the clock. Uh, Other side. We, uh, can we, we have 10 TV seconds? Balls? No, no, no. Never mind. Nah. Okay. Rank these TV shows by number of seasons, high to low, Real Housewives of New York, Catfish, all that. So all that went away and came back, but I I, I don't think all that had that I many. Had that many seasons. No, I think it would be I think Catfish. Catfish has a fuck ton. Catfish has a fuck ton. I think Real Housewives have been around for a long time, though. That could be in order. No, I, I'm going to go. Uh, yeah, Cat, I, I would try Catfish, Real, Real Housewives, 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 and all that. that. Is that your yeah. final answer? Jeff clarified uh, seasons, not years. So I don't know if like yeah. the, the break of all that. I don't. Yeah, all that could have been a. A lot of seasons, but I don't okay, think. Go, uh, Catfish, Real Housewives, all that. You Other side. To, yeah. I think it's in order. Yeah. yeah. You want to switch it? All right. Real yeah. Housewives, Catfish, all that. It's Real Housewives, all that, Catfish, 12, 11, and 8. <laughs> oh, okay. Other side. Coors Light, bonus for, uh, lightning round, not bonus round. Rank these. Road Rules, Top Chef, Cutthroat Kitchen. I have no idea. I'd say Top uh, Chef, Road Rules, Cut the Third Kitchen, but I could be wrong. Road Rules was on for a while. Well, why do you think Top Chef has more then? <laughs> yeah, Top Chef has been on forever. Is Road Rules oh, still on? I don't think Road Rules is still on. So I say, um, dude, I say Top Chef, Road Rules, Cut Road Rules, Cut the Third Kitchen. I don't even know what Cut Third Kitchen is. Yeah. Yeah, me neither. Great show. Great show. Okay. Top Chef, Road Rules, Road Rules, Cut the Third Kitchen. Be my guess. Done. Yeah, final. That one might be in order, but I don't know. Again, I don't know what Cutthroat Kitchen is either. I've never even heard of Cutthroat Kitchen. Um, you know, Cutthroat Kitchen watches me as like a, a strange show that's not on any of the other. How about order. Cutthroat Kitchen? I don't think people do that. No, no, no. Cutthroat ki uh, Kitchen, Top Chef Road Rules. Uh, reverse order, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> Top Throat, Cutthroat Road Rule. Top Chef, Cutthroat yeah, Road Rules. Cutthroat. Rule. Yeah. Top throat. <laughs> <laughs> that was chaos. I've never even heard of that damn show. It's it fantastic on Food Network. Really fucked up. It, it, it said nothing about people's skills with Alton I'd Brown. Watch, I'd watch Top Throat. <laughs> yeah, I would watch Top Throat. <laughs> two to two. All right, next category is the NFL, the National Football League. Any lifelines for this one? Do we want to mute Smitty? Um, I, no, I will never mute him. I don't know enough about NFL history to confidently double. Okay. KB's saying they'll never mute. I won't mute Smith. This might be the last day. This might be the last week of the mute. I'm just letting people know. I don't love okay. it, but we're trying it out. Well, I know if we don't mute on, or if we don't double on something that we somewhat know, we're gonna get stuck doubling on something. Okay, so Tommy, you want to double too? I mean, I, I think we know the NFL. Yeah, right, 
All right, this is worth two points for the Uptown Balls or Boys, whatever we're going to call it. Is, is it our question or theirs? No, right it's now? our question. It's their question. <laughs> they always go first, guys. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Frank and the Frank catch 30 seconds around the clock for you. Who scored the two Denver non-offensive touchdowns in their heartbreaking 2013 divisional round loss to Baltimore, the 2012-2013 season? Was it Vaughn Miller, you think? Who was the Vaughn quarterback? Vaughn Miller and Aqib Tlaib? Well, well, no, this is one answer. It's one person that scored two. Aqib Tlaib. You think? Unless was it a special teams? Were they two special teams touchdowns? He said non-offensive. So who was that? Like Trinden Holiday? That might be it. All right, we're going to Trinden Holiday. Final answer? Yeah. That is correct. It's Trinden <laughs> Holiday. Wow. Big poll right there. That was big. Frank. Other side. Job. For two points. Who caught Aaron Rodgers' game tying Hail Mary touchdown pass against Arizona oh, in the Packers 2016 the divisional yeah. round loss? I think it was I think it was Janet. What yeah, white guy Janet? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, Janet. Jeff Janis. What's your final answer? Janice. Sorry. Janis. I need a I need a I need a full name. It's not you need a full she, name. The person they're not it's not Cher. Right, it was Jeff Janis, I think. It was Jeff okay. Janis, wasn't it? Uh, Tim or Jeff, but Jeff sounds right. Jeff Janis. That is correct. Four to three. <laughs> yeah, I mean wow. it's just Jeff Janice, no offense to him. Not famous enough to go by one name. I just Yeah, but Janice is a unique yeah. enough name to just say no, he's Johnson. And a NFL uh, we Janice is a we would never have to uh <laughs> get called out on it. All right, four to three, but you guys only have one lifeline left. You only have your phone a friend. The other side you have all your lifelines. Last category before the bonus round, four to three, but again, uptown balls use their double. It's brand logos. Brand logos. Here we go. You're going to see a letter from a logo. Tell me the brand that uses this letter. So, uh, is that Carmel? Um, uh, Crisco. Oh, no, like, the, like the chat? Crisco, yeah. yes, it is Crisco. I think it's Crisco, yeah. Crisco, Jeff. Final answer? Yeah. Chick-fil-A, right? I don't think I think that's so. the KFCC. Oh, Glenny, I like that. It's not Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A is all script and shit. I'm pretty sure that's the KFC. That could be the KFC. Okay, let's do it. KFC. What? Chex Mix. That's the C ah. in Chex Mix. Yeah, it's a very distinct C you gave us. Yes. Chex Mix. <laughs> Nobody else uses that. <laughs> all right, all right, Frank and the Frank Cats. Let's. These let's are go these are plenty tonight. Is there anyone that we can mute over there? No, nah, it's too late now. No. no, I don't know who's mutable. So, do we think That's it's going to start it again? Because C started check check mix. Is that? I think I'm, that might be PayPal. I, I don't know. Yeah, that could be PayPal. I, I have nothing else off the top of my head. Yeah, like ten dot, but it won't be ten dot. I feel like PayPal is more exotic, though. I do, too. Yeah. But maybe if it's written a certain way. 15 seconds. I think it it's going to be a P. Premier, no, Premier is that? I don't know what their logo looks like. I'm just thinking of companies with P. I I'd say PayPal, unless you guys. I'm fine with PayPal. I got PayPal. That is correct. It's PayPal. Oh, oh. No, yeah, buddy. Five to three. Five to three. Bonus round time presented by Course Light. Can we mute? Die to make the donut. Time to make the donut. And it's shaking big pants. Thank you, Course Light, for sponsoring the bonus round. Five to three. Double has been used. That can is. We, can we mute in a bonus round? No, no mute in the bonus round. Okay. Coors Light. Shout out to Coors Light. Get uh, Coors You see at the bottom of the screen. Question tonight. In the, you actually got, you knew the theme. I'm not sure if you're prepared. It's kind of hard to prepare, but I gave you a little something to think about. It's box office. Box office. Frank and the Frank Cat, you'll start first, like a penalty shootout. Here is the question tonight. 10 seconds. Nick, your final answer guy. Uh, who wants to be final answer guy for the bonus round for the other side? I will. Okay. Yeah, I'll 
In the top 25 grossing movies in the world that start with the letter G. I got one. Uh, Gone with the Wind. Or wait, that's inflated though. Yeah, it's is it inflated? It's standard. Guardians of the Galaxy. All right, Guardians of the Galaxy two. No, 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 Guardians of the Galaxy two is definitely on there. But the, the Gone with the Wind is one five, of the most highest two, movies of all time. Maybe New Guardians three. of the Galaxy two. Fine, Guardians of the Galaxy two. Uh, Gone Girl, I think, was very hot. I think it made a lot of money. Um. Yeah, yeah. Gone Girl. Gone Girl. Gone with the Wind is one of them. All right. Is this inflated? It doesn't matter. It's still one of them. Gone with the Wind. Gone with the Wind. Uh, uh, get out. Um. Yeah, probably. Fuck. Get out. Oh. What do you think, Goodfellas balls? I was just thinking Ooh, Goodfellas, yeah. but it wasn't like a crazy box office movie. Twenty-five. I mean, if Get Out's not one of them, Goodfellas. I can't think of anything better than Goodfellas. Five, four. All right, well, Goodfellas. Right, the Godfather. Godfather Go- two. Oh, no, no. Good, good. Count Goodfellas. Godfather Part Three. Goodfellas. No, Goodfellas. <laughs> um, say it's the Godfather. The, and with I titles, think- the words V and A don't You're count fuck. as a title. All right, uh, uh, Godfather or the Green Mile. Um, Green, Green Mile probably did well. What about, I think that I think the Godfather would be. Uh, what did we even guess? Five. I, I, the Godfather I, I, has to be one. What does? Go, the, the Godfather. Godfather. All right, go, good fellas. They said I the think go- we might have guessed. They, 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 you friend. guessed the you guessed the Godfather Part Three was the last thing yelled before okay. the buzzer ran out. I think we go, good fellas. Now we're going, good fellas. Good fellas. Wow. Gone in sixty seconds. No, I don't think so. Kyle, what was yours? Uh, Green Mile. Yeah, let's go, Green Mile. But still, like, oh yeah. I don't hate one in 60 seconds. Is Glory Days a movie or am I making that shit up? Glory Days is a movie. Glory's a movie. Five. Glory Road? Three. Smitty. Two. One. Smitty. Uh, Glory Glory Road. Or Glory. That that was a hard thing. There are a lot on here that you will recognize. I think kids movies. Green Mile. We should have fucked the store. Oh, fuck. Oh, Godzilla. Yeah, this Third is embarrassing. Jesus Christ. I mean, it's hard to just think of movies that start with me. A Good Day to Die Hard? How the <laughs> fuck did that movie get on here? <laughs> but it is now tied up 5-5, five to five, a massive bonus round win for Frank and yeah. the Frankettes. And Next category is going to be college football. No Brandon Walker, but the category stays today. College uh, football. We, should, uh, Smitty. Uh, off topic, do you like college football? <laughs> uh, average. Well, I don't know who I would mute in for real answer. Yeah. All right, so nothing? Nah. Here we go. Next category, college football. 30 seconds around the clock. Name the only college football playoff title game school, so a team that either won or lost, to not score 20 points or more. Only one team has played and not scored 20 points or more. Not scored. Only since the college football playoff. Was it Notre Dame? Did they put up a stinker? Yeah, title. Wait. No, no, that was that BCS days. Oh, uh, it wasn't. I thought, really? That was BCS. No, I think they, no, they were not in a, they were in a playoff final, right? I thought they no, were. They, no, they always lose in the semifinals. Um, 10 seconds. Uh, Auburn. Uh, Oregon. Or- Oregon. All right. Final answer? Yeah. It is the Alabama Crimson Tide. When? Oh, against Clemson. Clemson 44-16. Yeah, yeah. Right, Alabama. Final answer? Yep. yep. Oh, wait, oh, the exact oh, score. Yeah, Ding, boy. Yeah. Glennie, why the fuck didn't you speak up when we were talking about who to mute? Mute. Yeah, Smitty, yeah. I didn't want to say anything. Why, right. why not? Next, next question. Name the only college football playoff title game school to score 40 points or more, but lose. I do you think I think that Oregon Ohio State game was super high score. Oh, or Alabama. Did, they, what, did Clemson score more than 40 last year? 
It's definitely one of the first three. Yes, LSU balls that over hit last year. No, it didn't. It, okay, it, it definitely. Not. It was definitely one of the first three games. The two Bama and Clemson games were 35-31 and then 41-38. So I think it was the first one. I think it was Oregon. Oh, I was I think five. So four. Oregon. Two. So, Wow. It was Oregon was what we learned. Oh, no. I, I fucked up there. Oh, sh- don't. Who was it? Georgia. Jo- yeah, jo- Georgia. Are you sh- Georgia. Yeah. The comeback. The comeback. Georgia. Final answer? Yeah. I think it's Clemson. It was Clemson. Alabama Clemson. The first Alabama Clemson one. That's that's on me. That's my big. you had all the scores. <laughs> <laughs> one, one was 35-31, and the other I thought was 38-35, but I guess. No, it was 45-40. I don't know. Whatever. Next category, it's 6-5. to five. Frank and the Frank, you still have your double. The next category is going to be movies. No. Any mutes? Anything? No. Uh, Glenn, does Glenny like movies? He, uh, actually, Balls, Balls is on fire today, and he does know movies. So does Tommy and Smitty. Uh, these guys are mysteries to me. Yeah, very, yeah. we're very disadvantaged. Nothing. I don't know if it's that. I don't know who. They're all pretty even. I mean, it's this is the eighth question. We got to start using shit. Uh, what else? What are they? What are the experts at? Tommy's um, Survivor, Smitty, video games, balls, everything else. Uh, let's hold on to it. I like. To, okay. I like to use it if we need it. You're right. gonna see a blank movie poster. Tell me the name of the movie. All right. That is trouble. With the curve. What trouble with the curve? Yes. Final yeah. answer. Um. Wait. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's correct. I have six, six to six. I hope Alex is that easy. What? Are you? <laughs> there is a new rule that I can mute people if they complain too much. That was borderline yeah. unnecessary. Tommy, we had a five foot <laughs> punt returner. You had a wide. You complained way more than us. Trouble with the oh, curve is the yeah. is a with the curve. I've actually never seen it. I just <laughs> knew the Clinton Wood was in it. You knew that was trouble with the curve. Uh Charlie Wilson's war. Sounds right. I don't really know. Sure. Yeah, final answer. Final answer. Yeah, Smitty would have been the good mute there. Oh, Smitty would have been the good mute. He knows his movies. Seven to six. Next category is airport codes. Airport codes. Gave you any mutes? Any doubles? You guys should definitely mute me for this one. Uh, <laughs> mute KB. We, uh, this is question nine. We have three lifelines. We can't use two in a question. we got to start using some of them. Well, uh, who travels among those three? But I don't I, take any I of travel them. whole fall, Frank. Glenny flies all the time, but I don't trust him to know airport codes. No, but well, we gotta use one. We gotta use them. I, I don't think I. Well, for this, use one. We for this. You don't. You don't. You do not have to use a life. No, you do not. Not for this one. This mute, this mute right, gonna kill us. But what, let's use a mute then. Are you well, not? I, I, you mute Glenny. No, we're not I'm muting Glenny. Hell no. <laughs> All right, Nick, decide. Nick, decide. Uh, if Glenny uh, gets it, I'll... Uh, I know my codes. We're not muting. We're not doing anything. Okay, here's your question. The airport codes FLL and PBI are most associated with what major United States metropolitan area? Um, that sounds like f- it would be F, Florida. Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale. and That would be Miami, though. Fort, Fort Lauderdale, and is that what? PBI Palm Beach? <laughs> Palm Beach International. Yes, Miami. Wait, this Miami. Have I a... think that would be Miami, yeah. Miami? Final answer? Yeah. Yeah. That is correct. Well done, seven to seven. This is a hell of a battle. Other side, no mute enacted on this one. The airport codes SNA and LGB are most associated with what major United States metropolitan area? Could LGB be Long Beach? Or what else? SNA? San Jose? Well, those are not close to each other. Um, Who would know airport codes? Would Zod know? No, I don't think any. There's nobody in the world where I'd be like, that person knows airport codes. Oh, Spider? 
Spider is like a room next door from booking flights. There you go. He might know. Should we use Not him? Not a bad idea. Yeah, might as well. All right, I'm going to go grab him. Oh. All right. In person, okay. phone a friend. Oh, fuck. I know. I know. I know the answer. Well, you well, can say it. Okay, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let, let's do it. Fight instead of cursed. Can I, can I, wait, can we use this? It's too late. You already brought him in. Um, Laguna Beach or Long Beach? I don't know what SNA is. It's it's. What is it, Clonny? It's good that you know. I, I think it's I think it's got to be LA. I think it's because I know Santa Monica has an airport, and I know Long oh, Beach. Oh, and LA would be Long Beach. Then. All right, so Los Angeles. Final answer. Yeah, that is correct. Eight sure. to seven. Sure. Santa Ana and Long Beach. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Sorry, Frank. Frank's not happy. <laughs> Next we're category. Gonna, we're gonna lose by that mute. Guarantee it. Oh, uh, we're not being negative. You guys should have muted me. I told you. You guys right have now. to have. You have to eventually double, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. There's three categories left. Next category is uh, is music. Fucking, okay. Music. Music, and you will not be able to use a phone a friend on this because it is audio. All right. Let's uh. Let's mute Glenny. Okay, they're going to mute yeah. Glenny. Uh, Glenny Ball is muted for their question, not the steal. All right, here is your question. What band used this instrumental for their 2009 song? 2009 song. You, you know it? Uh, yeah, I think so. Right, I'll stop it. Uh, is that Good Life by like One Republic? That is definitely it's. I, I don't care about song titles. I only yeah. need band here. Is that by One Republic? Um, wait. I can keep it going, but it seemed like you wanted the answer. Yeah, so. keep it going. Okay. All right, yeah, I'll give you 20 yeah, seconds because yeah, he's done yeah, ahead. I think it's One Republic. It's One Republic. One Republic. That is correct. That's Good Life by One Republic. And you got the title. Other side, here is your question. You're going to need a song. It, this is artist. The, this, the graphic says band. It's artist. It's artist. Glenny's muted. Yeah. Glenny Balls cannot guess or do anything for this one. We can't do anything. No, we've we've made it now. You can't mouth it or anything. No nonverbal cues. No yep. mouth. He must sit there with his hands and his straw that he's chewing on. Here is your song. Oh, they think I'm pretty. Oh, oh they think I'm pretty. Oh, oh they think I'm pretty. <laughs> I don't know, fucking Rick Ross, maybe. Uh, they think I'm pretty. Plies? It could be plies. Yeah, Rick Ross would plies. be plies. I think it might be plies. Pretty. Sure. Plies. So, well, it's a band, so... It's, it's, a, it's an artist. It's nice artist. Oh, oh, okay. Um, 2010. I don't, uh, who's a 2010? 3-6 Mafia, uh, T.I., uh, it almost has to be one Republic equivalent. I think TI is too big. Need an answer um, in 2010 rapper. What? Who's a 2010 rapper? B.O.B. B.O.B. He yeah. was almost the answer. No, it's TI, right? That's Trey Songs. Bottoms oh, up. Yeah. Trey Songs. Bottoms up. Pretty a lyric. Bottom. Or pretty, did I make that up? Did you know that falls? No way, hold on. I got to unmute him. Did you, you know, know it? it? Is it like my words blurred my vision? So that's how I started. Yeah. But yeah, I I, didn't, I wouldn't have gotten Trey songs though. I thought it was okay. like Cat Dolls. We're tied up. We're tied up. The next category is world history. Next category is world history. Uh, you both have your phone of friends. Mm -hmm. Both have your phone of friends. If you don't double here though, Frank and the Frank Cats, the last category is doubled. Yeah, I'm not confident in world Wait, history. Wait, this is we have two more categories, right? Yeah, so you can either use your phone a friend here and double the next uh, or vice versa. You have a history guy, Kyle? Um, no. All right, well, I, I don't... I, Vibs? Maybe Vibs. Okay, here yeah. we go. 
Here is your question. 30 seconds on the clock. We're tied up eight apiece. Uh, yeah, I do. PFT. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. PFT did not write these. Okay. You can't call Ken Jack. Ken Jack's the only one you can't call tonight. If you don't know it. Before their war against the U.S., Vietnam successfully beat what country in the Indochina War to gain independence? France. Um, what? What'd you say, Frank? France. Do, well, we have the phone of French. We call PFP. He, he, he sounded confident. He, yeah, but like we have to use it anyway. Huh. No one willing to help the number two. Oh, <laughs> what's up? Um, we got a question. We're pretty confident we just need to burn a phone a friend. Okay. But uh, before the, their war against the U.S., Vietnam successfully beat what country in the Indochina War to gain independence? Hmm. Hmm. What, what country? Frank. So France. Frank, owned, Frank said uh, France. France owned Vietnam. France like. Ran Vietnam. There you go. Frank is Frank is confident it's France. Why do you have Why do you have uh, you just pulled up on your tabs? Uh, <laughs> Frank, uh, what did Frank what, Frank? what did you say about France? It's France. The answer is France. Yeah. Okay. The, gonna, the, uh, Vietnam I'm gonna Vietnam. hang up the phone in five. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, have a good one. France. France. Is that your final answer? Yeah. That is correct. Nine to eight. Other side, you also have your phone, a friend. No, they didn't. They used uh... no. Oh, you're right. They did. They. It's different. It just. It was a man who walked into frame. So on I... your game, Frank. Why is one of the top ten trivia put top five trivia players? At peak strength, which nationality had the most troops involved in the Korean War? What nationality? Well, what, what, what nation? Hey, this won't be a trick question. It'd be Korea, would it? I was almost going to say China. This would be for the tie. If you miss, other team can take a two-point lead. Well, the, the, so the Korean War was North Korea versus South Korea, correct? I think. Well, the U.S. Was America was you, you, I mean, the U.S. got involved too. Yeah, the U.S. was heavily involved. Gonna have to toss something out soon. Was China involved? I, 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 I maybe the United States is the answer. I, I, I would say the United States is the only educated guess I would have. All right, United States. Final answer. China. China. Yeah, yeah. It's China. That is correct. Ten to eight. Gonna stuck with her gut. This is four. <laughs> The game. If the Frank and the Frank gets get this, this is doubled. Back to haunt us, yeah. This is doubled. Jersey numbers is the category. You're going to see three players, past and present, not that old. If if they're not playing, a couple maybe recently retired. You're going to tell me the common number they all wore. They all wore. Some may have worn a different number, but they're mostly known for this, and they all wore this one in common. For two points, if Frank and the Frank gets get it, game over. If they miss. Other side can steal to tie, yeah, and then but if they don't tie, it's over as well. Here they are, the three players. And I'll read you the names so you don't know who the people are. <coughs> Marcus Sauls, Dan O'Chara, and Michael the Burner Turner. There's no real need to make it bigger because I told you who they are, but just for visual, you can look at it. Marcus Saul, Grizzlies, Dan O'Chara, Bruins, Michael the Burner Turner. Atlanta Falcons. Frank, is it 34? Mm. Is it in the 30s? 87? No, Michael Turner was a running back. Maybe it is 34. I think it might be 30, 32 or 34. I think 32 or 34. Uh, we don't have a phone a friend, do we? Five. Do you want to try? Tommy, Tommy clinched. Um, Nick. 32, cool. Jeff. Other side. 33. I, was, 33. I thought Michael Turner was 24. 33. No, 33. 33. 33 is right. Okay. 33? 
You miss it. Game is over. It's Final answer. Dana Char is 33. That is correct. It's oh, 10 to 10. Balls. Let's go. King balls. All right, here's how this works. If you get this, you win the game in a fairly oh, large upset. Yeah. If you miss it, other side either has a chance to win it or it's overtime. Uptown balls slash boys have been in overtime before. This is for the win. What number do these players wear? Zach Randolph, Memphis. Corey Crawford, Blackhawks. Tyreek, uh, that's me. That's Justin Houston, Kansas City Chiefs. Wait, who was the, the first guy? Zach Randolph, right? Yeah. I, I think it's in the uh, 40s. I okay, not think of Corey Crawford's number right now. I mean, Justin Houston, it's weird that he would have – I mean, I, the, no, would Zach Randolph have, have worn a number in the 90s or the 70s? Well, they, did, they, they wouldn't be 70s or 90s with Justin Houston. Justin Either Houston. 80s or 40s or below. Five seconds. 40 – by 31. 45? Five. Four. What? Three. 45. I, I don't. 45. For the win. 50. 50? 50. 50, Jeff. Final answer? Yeah. That's the victory. It is 50. A massive <laughs> pumper behind win for Ooh. Frank and the Frank Cats. Oh, I know Corey Crawford is 50. And he just fucked over the Devils by retiring. That was, that, that's true. That was fucked up, Jeff D. You just gave him a Devils question. I should have mine. Should have been what's Hedrick Lundqvist's number? Well, the Gets the Rangers suck. All right, tank. <laughs> Uptown balls and boys comments thoughts. Wow, it's hard for a battle. It's, I mean, I knew Frank was gonna. He wasn't gonna miss two jersey numbers. Nick split the 33. He said 34, 32. I know there's uh, Frank and the Franquette fans are going to be in, are going to be upset about the Chex Mix logo. I imagine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I know that. Yeah, I'll get you yeah. for that. Yeah. Yeah. Smitty, any any yeah. comments, thoughts? Uh, no, between the China question, gone with the winner. Yeah, the the, the, the G, 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 the G, G the position, You know, Chex, you know, Chex does use a very similar C. Maybe. I'll take full responsibility for that one. So Maybe. does KFC, Frank. Uh, <laughs> um, I will say this. Uh, your ranking is probably going to go up because you guys scored a shitload of points and did well tonight. Uh, you would have e easily beat Brandon and PFT tonight. No offense to Brandon and PFT. Strong battle with Frank and the Frankettes. I think this is probably going to launch you up to the number one ranked team in trivia. Uh, We're Frank, number one. Uh, Tommy Ball Smitty. Uh, you get an invite automatically back next. Anyone who has such a tight battle and loses, you get an invite next week. You can either play Brandon and PFT or someone of your choosing. Sounds good, yeah, Jeff. Yeah. I'm in for whoever. Uh, yeah, up. Uptown balls will rise again. Yeah, it was a good game. Coors Light, thank you for sponsoring this this match, this episode. We're back tomorrow, right away. No waiting. Brandon and PFT against Ken Jack, Donnie, and Trill Ballins. Trill Ballins makes his return to trivia. Thank you so much, everybody, as always, for watching. Without you, the show is nothing. And thank you to Course Light because, you know, delicious. Good night, everybody, or good afternoon, good morning, wherever you're watching. <laughs>